We are doing some sort of challenge that Mike has came up with. Yeah, we need to get some food. Plus, we need to do something cool and fun. So we're going to combine the two together. Check it out. Well, take number two. Huh? Use oh, those. Do it. <laughs> you gonna use those? Yeah, fuck yeah, I didn't even see that. Hell yeah. He did not specify if it could be seafood. What up? So we've got a uh, customer in training right here. How's your uh, how's your selection going right now? Dude, I got you beat. You got me beat. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, well, me and Mike are going to walk back into the store. He wants to do a really awkward thumbnail for you guys. It's, it's you're going to love it. Yeah, you you're guys are going to see his thumbnail. You're going you're gonna to refer back to this video and be like, now I know why it's awkward. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's you, huh? Oh, you got Twizzlers and beef jerky? Dude, I spent $20, man. We both spent the same amount of money. $20 challenge now. Tackle for the day. All right, so what I'm going to be starting off with is some uh, some bread. We're going to be fishing this area, and I think bread will float pretty well. Wait, you're going to fish bread for bass? Bread for bass. Is that a joke? No. Yeah. Ain't going to work? Uh, I'll be impressed if you can get that to work. Bread for bass, top water style. Well, I'm going to use a three odd hook, three odd EWG hook. On a good note, there's a trillion geese here, and we all know that uh, Dude, Mike loves. Mike hates geese, but I got this bread and at least it won't go to waste because it'll go straight to the geese. I don't really know how this is gonna work out. I think we're gonna go through a lot of bread though. All right, we got it out there. Dang, dude, that's actually a shadow hook. Oh, that's legit. Are oh, you yeah. Me? I got a piece of bread floating in the moss, no big deal. All right, well, it didn't last very long. We gotta figure out a new oh, way to rig. Yeah, we gotta figure out a new way to rig that. Um, at least on a good note, bread is uh, delete bread. I've never caught one on top water. Try again. Maybe we should look. Here we go. Look at this. I'm we'll gonna smash it up. Let's try that. There we go. Let's try smashing it up this time. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a hundred times better. Now let's just hopefully it floats. Maybe I can get it to float. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna just switch over to the hot dog. We're just gonna throw it and then let it sit. Oh, hot dogs, they suspend a lot more than I thought they would. Alright, well, hmm, hot dog isn't working. Let's switch the shrimp. Alright, let's try this. Hot dog kept flying off. Uh, shrimp will probably do the same. Oh, it stayed on the first cast. Okay, so I'm actually really confident in the shrimp. I just had some fish bite it off. But I threw it over to this other pond, which is the one that Mike, for some reason, really is very determined to catch something out of this slop right here. I want to go down to the deep side and throw. I promise you, I, I am very confident that we're going to catch something off one of these food items today. Shrimp, definitely, because I can work. I was just working back like a jerk bait and it was actually working. It was kind of crazy looking. And then I saw this water so clear, I saw a, uh, a fish come up and rip the tail off. So Anyway, let's move down. Change stuff up, start catching some fish on these really weird food items. Change of plans. Mike just had a, a bass take his entire piece of Jeep beef jerky. 
It was a giant. <laughs> giant something. So I'm gonna go with this. He's using Slim Jims. I always love and enjoy doing these challenge videos with Mike. That lay down over there? All right. I wanna see you pull something off of it. Man, mine doesn't move. Man, that thing moves through the water pretty good. Oh, for. Yeah. I've seen that works better than actual baits I've seen that people pay five to ten dollars for. Came up three times to hit it. Three really? times he came up. Well, there you go. Mike's doing Mike things with a piece of beef jerky. Now look at them. How many inches? They're long. I mean, they're small, but they're long. Their their bodies are long. Like four inches. Oh my god. Wait, you have a fish? Did you see that? No, I was looking. What happened? He just came up and hit it right when it hit the water. Face hit? He's got her on. I got him. I got him. You got him. I got him. Oh, good fish. Oh my God. What, what bait were you using? <laughs> the shrimp. Oh my God. Got <laughs> Rob takes the lead right here with fish number one. Fish number uno. Dude, he missed it the first time and I said something about it. Came back for it. It must be that shrimp scent, man. <laughs> That's so funny. We gotta get weight on him. You really want to get a weight on him? I mean, we can estimate a pound. I would one. estimate a pound. A pound. We'll put there we go. We'll, we'll estimate. First fish on a shrimp. Takes the lead. Nice fish. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta go grab another one. Okay, so I'm not gonna give up on these. I'm actually like, I really want to catch a bass on bread. I know it doesn't seem that crazy, but keeping it hooked is the hardest part of this entire challenge. Smoosh it up a little bit, make it cylinder like. Let's give it a shot. We're gonna Texas rig this. I mean, excuse me. Oh my gosh. It's already Texas rig. I mean, we're gonna make it weedless. This is the hard part right here. Yeah, there we go. You know, you know what I mean, jelly bean? Go up, around. There we go. Now we got a uh, what in the world kind of weedless bait. Kind of looks like a sluggo or something. Oh my god. Oh, it was a really bad cast. All right, well, bread is, uh, we're done using bread for the day. <laughs> we're going to move down over there. Three minutes, three minutes. I'm going to rig up a uh, drop shot. Oh, a secret bait? How yeah, secret to be? Gary Yamamoto would approve of this bait, man. Bunch really? of you guys, what's up? You're a genius picking that bait, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at him. Look at those little, little blue guy right there. If you get that from a bass, it's all over. Man. I wish I picked the shrimp. We're gonna win it with the shrimp boys and girls. Oh, he's got it. What? Oh, did you see that? I was looking. Dude, it's literally just floating there and I just saw it dart off to the freaking right. Oh, that was awesome. It's off now, look. Oh yeah, you took it, you took it. Yeah. Oh, we had one on. We're gonna, I told you we're gonna win this. Mike, you're going down, dude. Hey, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Or Alex Perry. Or Alex Perry. <laughs> he's getting bit. I just saw it get bit. Could be a bluegill, man. You have nah. the do I have the clippers? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't take the clippers. Oh, Are they back there? Right back there. He's getting bit by something right now. He's getting destroyed by bluegill. Mike just randomly yelled my name and said, help me. I don't know what that means. I hope, I hope, there's, I hope he's cornered by like a bear or something. Not really, but come down there, but don't come too close. That sounds, huh? That doesn't sound very good, dude. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what, what, what am I looking for? Oh my god, are those bees? Yeah, so I didn't realize it. I was stepping on a swarm of wasps and I dropped my bag in the middle of the nest and see all these holes? There are wasps coming in and out of these holes the whole time. So I need to get my bag. Mike's bag is literally stuck. In the middle of a bee's nest. Look at all those bees right there. Those, those are nasty looking bees. Did you see that? No, I, I do see that. That looks really bad. What do I do? Um, <laughs> I don't know, dude. All right. the there, are. there are tons of massive wasps. They're huge. Huge wasps. And he's got his bag stuck right in the middle of the wasp nest. Let's just hope that there's not any attached to your bag. Dude, you they're so bag? big. That's what she said. Dude, you got one on your left leg. Look. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude. Did Wait, you what? see that or no? What? 
was on my leg? It was like literally like on your shoe. Dude, don't scare me. I got so close. Now I gotta go back in there. You got it. You got it. You nervous, Mike? <laughs> you literally, I saw that. You stood right on the hole. He shot out. <laughs> Yo, flash, baby! <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it, boys. <laughs> Woo! Mission success. Wait. With my wallet. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What? I got one. I'm on the board. You just. Dude, it was a bear hook. My, there's no, there's no bait on it. Did that really, did that really just happen? I well, think I'm in the lead now, right? Uh, I don't know. I give you creativity points. <laughs> All right, next fish wins. You ready? Yeah. Well, me and Mike are going to the last spot, which is way over there. That's where we started. We're going to see if we can catch one more thing before we bounce. And he's just munching on Twizzlers. Well, up ahead we have the infamous goose. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody who didn't just hear, he yelled, you don't own the water, bro. That's for you, Andrew Flair. Oh, we got one. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, wait. That's a little fish. Woo! Finally. 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 What'd you catch oh, it on? I got it on the jerky. It flew off my oh, uh, Beef jerky, finally. Beef jerky. There we go. So were oh. we saying that the next fish wins, or you still got the biggest oh, fish? Uh, what gosh. are we saying here? Huh? Uh, it's up to you. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you fish, though. Hey, you caught it on a piece of uh, beef jerky. Yeah. Jerky though. Slim Jim. Slim Jim for the win. What's, what's the Slim Jim? What's the slogan? Slim Jim. Step into a Slim Jim. Step into a Slim yeah, Jim. Yeah, Want to call it quits here? On that note. Yeah. Hey, fun challenge, Joe. Yeah. Guys, take a buddy out. Go to your grocery store. Spend a few dollars and um, see if you can catch bass in a more unconventional way. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a good time. All right. So we made it back over to the household of. Him, his household. I'm gonna be getting on a flight here in a little bit, going back to Texas, and then be in Texas for an entire week. Then we're going out to Florida for a week, and then I'll be meeting Mexico. Mike in Mexico. Ten pounders, for sure. We're going to Mike. Sure. We're going to Mike. We're going to Mexico to see if we can catch some ten pounders. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So literally, it's all Texas, then Florida, and then Mexico, back to Texas. It's gonna be a good time. So other than that, I will see you guys back in Texas in tomorrow morning at uh, 9 a.m. like usual.